Alrighty. Hey gang, welcome back. So um, I wanted to go over a maintenance um, issue or a maintenance, um, yeah, some maintenance information on the cook stove and also an update on how to assemble the glass tops and how to stick them to the rest of the core. So this is my little test one. We've seen this a few times and uh, so in the original video I was talking about putting the top on and I talked about using fiberglass rope on the top and I've since changed and so what I'm doing now is I'm just using the same uh, mortar mix that I used for the bricks in the main stove which is just uh, clay and sand at a ratio of about one to three dry um, by volume so I buy a bag of fire clay and get a little scoop and one scoop of fire clay three scoops of sand in this case I used uh, uh, I'm not sure what kind of sand that was. I think it was, it might have been dolomite, uh, like a 70 screen, but it's a sharp mason sand at any rate. And that makes a really nice seal on the top and it's really easy to, to manipulate um, and lay down and all that. So um, the maintenance I want to cover is just cleaning the stove. So when you, I've been burning really wet wood in this one because I'm, uh, that's all I've got around. And so the top does get dirty and, and in this case the flue path, the gas path is like that. So what you'll see is you'll see, I expect it to be fairly clean here. There should be a little, there might be a little bit of scale and crease it on there. Uh, but then as you move back here, you're gonna start to see this fur. And I believe that that's from condensation in the early parts of the burn and the particulate kind of dripping down. And it makes these little like really light stalactites um, that stick to the top. So you want a vacuum handy. This stuff is, geez, I don't know. It's um, really fine. So, um, don't blow it all over your house if you can help it, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so you can usually just pry these off. Um, the sand and clay doesn't stick too terribly strong. So you can just do that. And you can see I had a little ingress right there, egress right there that got a little smoky, but the rest of it looks like it was all sealed pretty well. And then, like we were talking about in terms of <clears throat> what's on the bottom here, you'll see this is a uh, almost clean to the glass right there where the hottest part hits it and then we start to grow this stuff and this stuff will insulate the top a little bit so it won't get as hot as it could otherwise um, so you do want to get in here if you've been burning you know this is probably a yearly thing if you're responsible and have dry wood <laughs> uh, but if you end up compromised on your fuel you probably want to get in here now and then if you have any tight passageways in the stove they'll grow that stuff too so this stove does have a temporary partial bypass open and that does um, grow closed over time so I'm gonna go outside and clean this off with a wire brush and we'll come back in I'll show you how I stick it on there you can see the opaqueness where it's clear and where it's not alrighty so I got my top all cleaned off outside and kind of cleaned out my passageways a little bit and now I'm ready to set it back down so you can see where I've been building up it's got this sort of nice flat landing um, some little voids around the gaps where I didn't have enough but the best way to do this that I found is to use that same mortar mix that we talked about, clay to sand, one to three, and then make it pretty wet and just use your hand and do drip castles <laughs> style. And uh, that seems to be the pretty much easiest way to do this. So I'm going to try and get some on these little landings or uh, center dividers here because they'll they carry the weight of the pot and when you're banging pots down and around if you don't have contact there then the the um, top will flex and that's kind of starts to break down um, the seals around the edges if you don't have a real good landing and so this takes a few time you'll do it the first time and it'll it'll seal well and all that but um, it'll take a few times getting in and out of there before you really start to build up a real good um, landing spot for the seal there. So too much is fine. It's going to be a mess. Going to make sand everywhere. And the stove's. I probably burn myself if I touched any of that stuff in there. It's it's not hot, but it's definitely warm. There were live coals in there just an hour or so ago. So it's kind of about cookie dough consistency. 
drip sand castles, whatever you want to call it. I got a lot so I can fill in some of my voids from times past there. And you kind of want to be aware of your levels. Um, and you might want to, as especially as you're getting started, you, you might need to build up one side or the other to get the top to sit how you want it. Um, but eventually you'll get a landing that should come out pretty darn level um, over time. So this is my trouble area. I've got a little bypass right here and I don't have much landing. But it doesn't really seem to matter. We'll do a little seal after the fact too. So I think I'm ready. I'm not trying to pinch this off a little more. I can see some black fuzz, meaning that there was a bypass there, although that's probably fine. Okay, I'm gonna do that, and then you get your top. Whoa, try not to spray mud all over the window. That's in the ladder in the shack. But maybe you don't live in a shack, hopefully. So then you just go ahead and set your top down close. Don't worry too much about uh, how it's gonna land. Or I mean, being exactly right, and then you just get your level out. Any mag if you got one, and go ahead and just start wiggling her into place. So I'm a little high out here, so I'll just wiggle and push on this a little bit. I'll come, should come in. To... Wow, so I'm really low. I think my shack is shifting, shack shifting. So I'm just gonna grab another handful here. And now all that stuff that's gone is just stuck to the glass. You can see it, makes, it bonds really well. The glass has like a little waffle print or something texture on that bottom side. And uh, boy, it sealed, it's ceramic glass. Remember, it's not glass at all actually. And it seals so well. So that seems like non-ideal, right? Like what I just did. And it totally is. I wish I had just landed it closer to level. But I'm actually kind of glad that that happened now. Because I can show you really how flexible and easy this is to, to deal with. So that's pretty good. It's not perfect. But it's good enough for now. I'm going to be back in there before too long. So and I can probably lift this up a little bit. So... Then what you can do, and I'm going to try and lift this just a little more. Probably not the best idea. I'm kind of messing up my seat a little bit, but that's okay. So there we go. I'm just going to take all this extra, kind of work it into that gap. And you really, you really don't need to agonize over this, guys. I know it seems crazy. Like, I'm going to seal. It's going to be fire in there. But uh, it is going to seal. And there is going to be fire in there. So now I'm worrying about my edges just a little. But again, so eventually this is going to have a uh, angle trim like the one in the house. So you don't need to agonize too much about the detail here. But it's nice to sort of face all the front like that. So then it looks like a terrible mess, but the nice thing about this stuff is once it dries up, it's just sand. So you can freak out when it's wet and spend all day cleaning, or you can just kind of let it dry and then vacuum it up. All right. So now I'm just going to kind of work around this seal. This one kind of goes the opposite way against these bricks. And again, it's just, it seems like the way that's going to work, but... That's all there is to it.
And that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna let her dry off. And we'll wipe her down. And she'll be ready to burn for tonight. All right, hope that helps you guys. Those of you who are building them. Anyone working with this glass. That right there is the easiest way that I've found to seal your glass parts in your rocket stove project or your walker stove cooktop. Thanks for watching.